Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Anode, your source for electric vehicle news and how to's. And welcome to the 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance. And we're gonna go through those five things after two years of ownership that doesn't seem quite right. These are the 20 inch Tesla Uber Turbine Performance wheels. Now, what doesn't make sense about these after two years of ownership is they don't always hold air. Now, it's not just the normal humidity, that temperature changes, that makes the air fluctuate inside. No, they literally do lose air. Now, I know what you're saying, there must be a nail in it, there must be a hole in it somewhere, but no, it's randomly some days you just get in the car and it tells you that the PSI is low. Uh, one thing that doesn't quite make sense, uh, always having to fill these back up, kind of a small minor annoyance, but something that you wouldn't expect on a car that's two years old and has less than 20,000 miles on it. So yeah, the first, uh, annoyance here is the 20 inch uber turbine wheels don't quite hold air like you would expect them to now coming on the inside here we have the tesla wireless charging pad now this is standard on all cars that have were made after the second update we're not talking the new uh, model 3 highline refresh we're talking the refresh right before now it's great to have a built-in wireless charger but the one thing that happens is phones depending upon their size don't always charge. Now I'm not sure if this is just this phone, this is a iPhone 13 mini. Uh, other phones, iPhone 11s, other larger phone form factor phones also charge well. This one, however, never charges. You can move it around, but it will never start charging. Now coming over to the infotainment screen, this is a 15.5 inch touchscreen. Um, really the main feature of the car this is where you control uh, all, most of the car's functions. Um, it's what really sets Tesla apart from its competitors. However, for as good as software is, 95% um, of it's all fleshed out, there are those tiny little bugs that still need to be worked out. For example, always the Spotify, you could connect Spotify however many times you would like. However, you open up the Spotify app again after you connect it and you have to reconnect. Um, now this has been in the software for quite some time now, so it doesn't make sense why it wouldn't connect, it will keep disconnecting, um, but there's always those random software bugs that get introduced with every single update. So while it's great that the car updates and brings new features, there are some of those features that work well with one update, and there's tiny little bugs that get introduced, and those bugs do get worked out over time. However, it's just something to consider, um, and something I've noticed over the last two years of ownership, is definitely those bugs are still present, regardless of how well the software actually performs. It's still better to plan your ultimate road trip on the inside 15.5 inch touchscreen, um, rather than using the app. Hopefully this is something that they improve over time, uh, and it's a feature they've recently added to the app, and it's something that's been called for by Tesla owners for quite some time, so hopefully it continues to improve um, and we're able to actually plan road trips fully inside the app, see all of the amenities near the superchargers and everything just as we are in the 15.5 inch touchscreen inside the vehicle. The final annoyance after two years of ownership is the service. Now it's true, there's very little maintenance you have to do on the Tesla, mainly it's changing the windshield wipers, uh, rotating your tires, and also filling up the windshield wiper fluid. But certainly there are some maintenance costs that when you have them, they do get a little bit more expensive. Um, but overall, I have to say far less maintenance, far less expense than a gas car would have been with regular oil changes. Now overall, this has been a great car to own over the last two years. And these have, are quite frankly, minor annoyances. Um, however, they do exist, and especially for a car that's being made for quite a while, it's been made since 2017, um, this is 2022, you would think that some of these things would be worked out, um, or at least documented. I mean, these are issues that I'm not seeing uh, too widely spread. Um, certainly, the phone issue could be just my phone. I don't have another iPhone 13 mini to test that out on. Um, but other things such as software bugs, um, I would hope that they get worked out all the time. Um, things such as, you know, Spotify has been there for quite a while, um, but still uh, quite buggy. Um, Tesla planning, the app is getting a lot better as well. Um, still, it's easier to plan road trips on your actual touchscreen inside your car. Um, however, these are issues I think are kind of minor overall, um, and definitely um, after two years of ownership, it's a really good car. 
Thank you very much for watching Anode. Remember, if you like this video, to give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe for the channel for more electric vehicle news and how to use. Charge on.